Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Teller Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're gonna talk about the weight distribution throughout the golf swing. It's a question that gets asked quite a lot in the stack and tilt system. Now today I have a seven iron and I have a driver. We're gonna talk about the weight distribution at setup and throughout the golf swing. First up, we're gonna take a look at the weight distribution at setup and throughout the swing using an iron, then we're gonna compare that what we do with the driver and just take a look at the differences. Now, when we take a look at this, we've got two camera viewpoints. We've got this one here. Uh, we've also got a camera up here, so a little bit higher. Just gonna take a look at kind of the position from the front camera, which is obviously quite important when we're looking at this uh, swing and kind of giving you guys kind of an idea for what we're trying to do here. As we all know, the key fundamental of stack and tilt and playing good golf is controlling where your club hits the ground. So we've talked about the low point and basically hitting the ball first then the ground. On the ground here, we have the grid lines, we have the line there for the club, we have the line there for the hands. I've talked about these in plenty of other videos, uh, but in today's session, we're really going to be focusing on the weight distribution. So the idea is on these grid lines, I've got the ball set up here behind my left shoulder, which is represented by this line here. Where the ball is here, I should be following this grid line, hitting down on the ball and slightly from inside to out. So that's where the ball position is and my club should hit somewhere between the ball and the left shoulder. Roughly the lowest point should be pretty much where the left shoulder is. Um, that would be representing kind of the low point and then the point where the club then would start to change direction. Now, to give us the best chance, how we set up here with the body weight at setup and throughout the course of the swing is very important and it's probably one of the most popular questions that I get on my channel. So as I set up to the golf ball here, where is my weight distribution? Now we're going to be taking a look at the driver swing later. We're going to be looking at the difference in the stance. First of all, as soon as you make your stance wider, the left shoulder pulls back, the weight kind of pulls back as well. So that's also going to have an effect on the delivery of the club into the ball. Now with the iron here, I've roughly got the heels of my feet, roughly the width of my shoulders and my feet turned out. Ball position, about three balls inside of my left heel, handle slightly forward. Now, just before I take this club back, I kind of preset my body weight here. So as I set up to the ball, I'm very much 50-50 here with my body weight. And as I set up, I just lean my body. So I'm, I feel like I'm moving the belt and the center of my shoulders here. So the center of my hips and the center of my shoulders, roughly, an inch to the left. That's kind of like my preset. I'm not just doing my hips, I'm not leaning just my head, I'm just setting both those centers slightly to the left. Now, I will have a slight shoulder tilt at setup, so shoulder tilt is representing the angle of my shoulders. Because of my right hand being lower, it automatically presets a shoulder tilt, and we're gonna be looking at that for the driver later. So as I set up here, 50-50, and then I'm just gonna move an inch to the left. So for me, it feels like, as I set up here, I've roughly got 60% of my body weight on the left side. That's my hips and my upper body here. Now, as I do that, I've, I'm feeling like the, the pressure's moving onto um, my left foot here. I still feel the pressure on my right, but not quite as much. And I try and keep the knee the same. I know certain drills we work on, we do straighten this leg, but I'm just trying to make sure I keep the knee bend the same. I'm just trying to pressure Put that pressure there it's kind of just going to get me set to take the swing back because i think that it's good to have kind of a, a trigger in your swing right it's very easy for to stand over that ball and not know what to do or what to have a kind of a, a routine is i think quite important so for me that's kind of like my trigger to set up so let's take a shot here so as i take my setup here again feet heels roughly shoulder width apart feet turned out hands slightly forward, and then I'm just gonna have that kind of preset as my trigger. Then as I go back, I'm kind of gonna move my left shoulder down, and that kind of initiates my takeaway and my backswing. Now, a lot of people do ask, what kind of do I feel in the, in the takeaway and the backswing? That can vary, I would say, from person to person. I think for some people, um, they would feel like maybe they're, they're focusing more on what their hands do. Uh, for me, I feel like I've, I focus really on what my kind of shoulder does because that helps me kind of stay centered. And then from a side view point of view, 
it helps me kind of tilt my shoulder, which is a very important move in the stack and tilt golf swing. It's the most probably common thing that people would associate with the stack and tilt is kind of how we kind of tilt the, the shoulders. Obviously we have the stack, which is the weight that we're talking about here, but the next move is to tilt. And it's not just in the stack and tilt goal swing that we tilt, it's everyone, everyone tilts. Every good player tilts. So as we set up here, we have feet, roughly heels, shoulder width apart, feet turned out, hands forward, then it's gonna kind of preset. And then for me, as I swing back here, I'm just feeling that tilt to my shoulder. Now, when you measure the swing on kind of force plates, you'll see a lot of players will have a slight shift to the right. And people kind of see this shift to the right on a force plate and they think that, okay, all the good players are shifting to the right, but it's more about where the weight is, where the hands are and where the club is. Like if, you, if you're standing on a pressure plate, even though I'm keeping my, feels like I'm keeping my weight to my left, if I'm moving my hands to the right in the club, there's gonna feel like there's, it's gonna appear that there's some more pressure moving to the right side, but it's not really the case. If you look at it from the front view camera here, as I set up here, as I go back, there's no visible sway or shift. And this is one of the, the biggest things that I work on on a daily basis is getting the golfers to kind of pivot around their, their left side, move their shoulder down, tilt their shoulder down, extend their spine as they go back to kind of remain centered. Now, as I go back here, I feel like I'm maintaining that 60% weight that I set on the left at setup and just maintaining that position. It doesn't feel like I'm moving any more forward. It doesn't feel like I'm moving any more back. So for me, in my mind here, I'm just maintaining that 60% to the left as I go back. Now, as I start down, this is the key one, is the actual the weight shift on the downswing is mainly focused on the lower body, what the lower body does. So what we're gonna try and do on the downswing here is start the downswing with the lower body. Now, in my swing, it happens very quickly, but by the time I even reach the top, I'm already starting to move my lower body forward. So as I set up here, shift slightly to the left, 60%. I'm gonna try and keep that, that 60 there as I tilt my shoulder. And then as I move forward, I'm gonna try and move my hips forward. Now, that movement there with the hips is quite crucial because what that does, it creates a, a new tilt or right tilt at setup. We had a left tilt in the backswing, then we create a right tilt at impact, and that's my uh, tilt of the hips and the tilt of my shoulders. So as I come down to the downswing, that shift becomes from 60%. Now it's focused on the lower body. My, my head position will stay very stable here, but now as I start down, I'm gonna go 70, 80% to the left, almost 90% to the left of my lower body, still 90, and then by the time I finish, it feels like I've got like 95% of my weight on my lower body here towards the target. So the weight shift in the golf swing moves forward. And that's a, quite a misconception. A lot of people think that weight shift is back then forward, right? So what we're doing is presetting the weight setup, stabilizing that in the backswing, then shifting forward with the lower body to kind of tilt the shoulders. So a good way to kind of practice this, this is something that I'll get golfers to do to try and sequence their movements is to really focus on where you need to be at this point. So roughly where my arms are parallel, my head here shouldn't have moved. It should just be my kind of lower body here moving forward. So as I get through here, I've got 90% of weight on my left and that was me just like kind of tilting, shifting, turning and tilting my shoulders as I go through, but it's my lower body there that moves forward, and that's key because we've, we're trying to create a tilt at impact to the shoulders that helps a number of things, right? Gets the, that left shoulder up higher as the handle starts to raise as we hit through the golf ball, gives you space to keep your arm straight. And it also helps you keep that club on the correct plane. We talk about these, these grid lines a lot. Now to keep that club on plane, you have to move the hips forward and tilt the shoulders. So as we come down here, that club to stay on plane, that tilt and that hip sway is quite crucial. So just to summarize there with the, the seven iron here, we've got 60% to the left setup, 
maintain 60, then the lower body is going to go 70, 80, 90, 95, and then eventually my hips and my head will continue to move forward in the finish. And that's quite important, guys. You're trying to shift the lower body forward constantly throughout that downswing. The head will stay stable. So you have to kind of associate the weight here is two centers, center of the hips and the center of the shoulders. And it's the center of the hips here that moves and shifts forward in the downswing. Now we're gonna take a look what we do with the driver. With the iron there, we're hitting down on the golf ball and that's important to control that low point. We talked about those grid lines. Now, what do we do with the driver? It's slightly different. The driver, we're trying to shallow the attack angle. Now, part of the way to shallow the attack angle is by having the, that ball position further forward. Like if you have the ball further back, you're gonna be hitting more into out, more down the ball. Having it further forward, now I've got it on my, pretty much my left shoulder here. Now, one of the key things we talked about earlier with the iron and the driver is kind of the width for the start. As soon as I widen this start, you can see how my shoulder comes back, my head comes back. Okay, and automatically, um, it kind of pulls my centers further back, which is, is quite important. Like with the iron there, we need our centers more in front. We saw how we set up there. Now, with the driver here, so I'm gonna go left heel on the ball, take this now a lot wider. Now, when I set up here, my preset of my weight is more of my kind of lower body. So now I kind of shift my lower body to the left. So I still keep my the weight 60%, but it's more with my hips pushing forward and I'll try and keep my head in the center. So very different, it creates more tilt to the shoulders. So that's the big difference, right? The iron, we were a little bit more stacked with the two centers. Driver, already the head's further back because we widen the stance and I'm just gonna bump my hip forward like an inch, but keep my head back. This is quite, again, quite important as we swing down, we're trying to tilt the shoulders and push the hips forward, but the lower body here still feels for me like 60. As I swing back, I still feel like I'm 60 with my lower body. And again, the shift is gonna be 70, 80, 90 with the lower body, head staying stable, 95 as we go through. So we'd still expect similar movements or sequence of movements with the body weight, it's just that they kind of start a little bit different to begin with. So if I just make a smaller swing here, so as I set up here, wider stance, bump my hip forward, keep my head in the center of my feet, tilt my shoulder 60, then I'm moving the the centers further forward there. That gives me attack angle very close to zero and the swing path very close to zero as well. We saw earlier on I was hitting into out and more down with the iron. That's a lot down to that ball position by having the, the ball position there on that left shoulder and by kind of tilting back, it shallows out the, the attack angle coming to the ball. So my path very straight angle of attack very straight with the driver. Now, I just did a smaller swing there, but you can see how the same kind of principles here with the lower body. So really the big differences in the positions are with the driver and the iron is really a lot of it's down at setup. Okay, we, with the sensors of the irons, we stack them forward. Now with the driver, it's more the lower body stack, forward, hip forward, keep that hip forward at 60 and then 70, 80, 90, 95. And at the same time, we're still pushing the hips forward to kind of tilt this shoulder underneath, which is kind of the key move here, guys. We're doing this with every club. There's a hip sway always moving forward, creating a right tilt at impact, which continues into the follow through. So we have a left tilt on the backswing, right tilt on the follow through, keeping the head stable with both swings just set up a little bit different. So that's really the, the key to this, guys, is really just creating these differences at setup. But the principles there with the lower body, very similar, there's no shift away from the tight. So all that shift is going forward, especially at the start of the downswing. So hopefully that video helps, guys. I know it's a question that gets asked quite a lot about the weight distribution. Hopefully that clears it up. Any more comments on that, post in the box below. If you don't already, please follow me on my other social media platforms. And I'll see you again next week for another video. Mm -hmm.